welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl, Lolo, and today I'm going to be talking about five reasons that semi-freeform locks may be for you, either dependent on your preferences, how you just are oriented, or things that you like, or things that you may not like. Semi-freeform locks probably aren't for every single person, but if you haven't started locks yet, or maybe if you've started another type of locks, maybe you interlock or you have manicured locks, you may find that semi-freeform locks may be more your speed. Once you hear the pros or characteristics of semi-freeform locks that maybe fit your character better. But before we get into this video, if you are new here to my channel, hello. Here on Holistic Flow, we are creating a safe space, a space for self-love, self-growth and maturity, and we're taking a journey towards an overall better mind, body, and spirit connection. So if you with that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. After you have done that, thank you so much, and let's get into this video. So first, let me explain what semi-freeform is. A lot of people are like, what are all these terms? Locks are just locks. But for some people, the way that we describe the locks may identify a certain way that you want your locks to look or you want them to be maintained, etc. Semi-freeform to me probably looks a little bit different than the next person who has semi-freeform locks. For me, it means that you don't retwist your hair often at all. You don't retwist or maintain your hair regularly. You may only retwist your locks maybe two to three to four times a year or you may only retwist once a year or you may not retwist at all but in one way or another there's some sort of maintenance or manipulation you do to your locks to make them look a certain way um you don't just do nothing to your hair because if you did nothing like absolutely nothing not even laid a finger on it or anything like that that would more so be freeform locks, whereas semi-freeform locks, they're still more organized, more manicured state than freeform. I started my locks in November 14th of 2020. So I've had them for a little over a year now. I retwisted maybe three or four times within the first six months, five, something like that, that I had my locks. But after that, I just stopped retwisting. After the sixth month, I was just like, nope, no more retwist and all i do is um every two weeks i put my hair in two strand twists so that they can have this wavy kind of effortless look with them so just for the night or um maybe i carry it over into the next day where i just wear um, two strand twists but then after a day i take it out so that my hair can be wavy to me there are nothing but pros about semi-freeform locks unless you just don't want locks so the very first reason that semi-freeform locks may be for you is if you don't enjoy doing your hair semi-freeform locks is a very low maintenance you literally just uh start your locks and then along the way you may separate your roots if that feels right to you you may not you may retwist two, three times a year. You may not. It's all up to you. Like I said, semi-freeform looks and is different to different people. But overall, it's very low maintenance. If you don't enjoy doing your hair or if you don't like taking that time out, like a whole day to wash your hair, then retwist it, sit under the dryer or let it air dry and do all that, you know, extra stuff then semi-freeform locks may be for you. In my wash day routine, there's literally like three steps. Well, four steps. Wet my hair, shampoo my hair, twist my hair, air dry. You can really make your routine, your maintenance routine, your moisturization routine, whatever you want it to be, which is one of the most beautiful things about having semi-freeform locks, if I do say so myself. The second reason why semi-freeform locks may be for you is if you don't have a great relationship with your hair. Now, a lot of us with our textured hair may have had a lot of different experiences growing up, learning how to do our hair or either going to the hairdresser or trying to manipulate it in a way that looks presentable. And within that journey, within that process, we've probably all had many failed attempts at hairstyles. I remember when I was loosely natural, and my hair started growing past a certain length, I would um, be more able to 
experience with different hairstyles, doing braid outs, twist outs, doing more wash and goes, doing more protective styles. And some styles just wouldn't come out the way that you envision in your head. Or it looks one way when you walk out the door, but then at the end of the day, mm, it's like you didn't even do your hair. So in essence, there's a lot of things that we'll have to learn about our hair when we have natural hair. Now, when you have locks, it's a lot different because it's less, I would say, pressure to maintain your hair in a style that your hair ultimately doesn't want to be in. Because if I'm being honest, the kind of styles that we force our hair into or manipulate our hair into sometimes, sometimes isn't suitable for our hair type or our hair texture because that's why it looks one way in the beginning of the day and then the end of the day it looks all wild try to manipulate our hair in an unnatural state that it doesn't ultimately want to be in so i look at this as a metaphor for life right because a lot of the things that we go through with our hair we go through in life in a way we try to control our hair there's nothing about our hair that has to be controlled or tamed and it shows how much sometimes we've gotten away from knowing our hair's truest natural state so in that way semi freeform locks allows you to release that control over always having our hair in a certain way or always having hairs in place or slicked down slicked back or put up or whatever at least it has done that for me and that translates over into how we live our life because there's a lot of things in life we're not in control over and when we try to control a lot of things in life that just are out of our control or that are not meant to be controlled like our hair then we end up with a lot of failed attempts or failed outcomes because the expectation that we had didn't meet reality but the expectation that we had was never meant to be reality because there's a better reality for us. Mm. That was deep. So if you're someone who can relate, you may have tried all these different things to control or tame or put away something that doesn't want to be controlled, tamed, or put it, put it away, put it, <laughs> or put away, then semi-freeform locks might be for you. The third reason that semi-freeform locks may be for you is if you're a free-spirited person who likes to look effortless. Now, if you can see, I guess I'll get a little closer up to the screen, mm, all close up and personal. You can see that I have, you know, you can't really see, first of all, my uh, parts. And some parts are wavy. Some parts are more straight than others. You know, then I got some ones that are thin in the front, edges ain't done, you know what I'm saying? Grown out and everything. And then just decided to put some seashells in my hair, which other people call them seashells, but they're really called cowrie shells or cowrie beads, I believe. One of my coworkers at work looked at me and said, Oh, what you went to the beach and i just couldn't do anything else but laugh at them but in general locks let alone semi-freeform locks they have somewhat of an effortless look to them our hair is a reflection of what's inside if we just surrender to what's inside spiritually then our hair which is an extension of our mind and our spirit will express how we feel inside which is why this is a spiritual, a more spiritual journey, as a lot of people look at it. And if it's not a spiritual journey for you, that's completely okay. If it's just literally about how you want to do your hair, that is totally okay too. But for most people, they see how it becomes a spiritual journey because it's really hard for it not to. Our hair are our, our antennas and they help us really ground or reflect or do whatever we need to to figure out what's really inside here and if in here you are a more effortless free-flowing high vibrating high energy person it will reflect in your hair because our hair carries energy it carries energy from the outside and it carries the energy that we give it on the inside if you currently have manicure locks where you currently retwist 
once a month or once every two months or every three months and you're starting to not really favor the scalpy look so much or the freshly retwisted look then semi-free form locks may be for you reason number four semi-free form locks may be for you is if you live a minimalistic lifestyle what i mean by that is your lifestyle doesn't require you to have a lot of things in order to be satisfied you're low maintenance you maybe don't need to have a lot of clothes you don't need to have a lot of shoes or a lot of hair products in general in your physical space if you don't like to keep a lot of things or it doesn't require a lot of things in your physical space for it to be maintained. So my free form locks are probably great for you. The reason why is locks in general don't require a lot of products to maintain your hair. As a matter of fact, the more products that you put in your hair, the more likely you are to get buildup, which is um, when products get stuck in your hair and when you go to wash your hair, you may not be able to get all those products out because you have a product overload. And that can lead to other things down the line, like your locks getting heavier, your locks getting this moldy smell in them, and it can lead to longer drying time after your wash day. It is my belief, personally, that the less products, the better. With locks, less is more. And with semi-freeform locks, that more so is the case. If you are a plain Jane, semi-freeform locks are great for you. The fifth and final reason that semi-freeform locks may be for you is if you don't like anybody else's hands in your hair and you're used to doing your own hair. It's actually more beneficial for only your own hands to be in your hair. You know what your hair likes because you get to spend more time doing your hair, learning your hair, learning what products that it takes better to, what products don't really work that well. And especially if you relate it to number two which was that you don't have a great relationship with your hair doing your hair more can help build that relationship up so you can get to know each other better it's like you know your hair is another life form you can talk to it it's kind of like a plant you know talk to it play play music for it pet it you know give it some tlc even if you're not used to doing your own hair even if you're used to going to the beauty shop the hair salon for someone else to always do your maintenance it's okay for you to do your own maintenance in my opinion because semi free form locks are so easy to maintain because it's minimal you don't have to use a lot of products and because you really you don't really have to do much except for you know occasionally separate here and there if you want to and one of the main pros to always doing your own hair is that if you do a style on your hair and the reality of what you thought it was gonna look like doesn't meet the expectation, you won't be as disappointed because it was in your hands, nobody else's hands. And you can know what you wanna do better to improve it. So those were five reasons that semi-free from locks may be for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If there were any points that you heavily resonated with, please leave a comment down below and I hope to see you in my next video. But until then, I'm sending peace your way, love your way, and joy to you, your family, and your friends. All right, y'all. Peace.